guys, so I know I haven't been doing reviews lately, and or not lately, more like in a long time, and I'm sorry about that. I'll get either a classic album review done soon, a new album review, or I'll review one of Slayer's tracks that they have out. But to make up for it, I'm going to show you guys my battle jackets, and I'll do updates on those for you, so you have something else to watch. So, here's my first one. I left the sleeves on it because it felt like it. That's I, I don't I I don't know why. Okay, anyway, on this side, the buttons are pretty much all random, except for this one, which is a Sex Pistols God Save the Queen button. On the other side, Misfits Crimson Ghost, Pantera Cowboys from Hell, and it has the devil on it. And I'm really sorry with how blurry these buttons will show up. This camera can't focus to save its life. This button is pan another Pantera one, and it has a snake wrapped around a skull, and then it comes out of its eye socket. Which, I, I, uh, I want to show you guys how cool it looks, but that camera is not cooperating. So, on to the sleeves. This one's the Slayer Seasons in the Abyss. Iron Maiden with Ed Eddie flipping them off. And then one of my favorite patches on this jacket. Motorhead is its playing card. I just think that's pretty cool. On the other side, Black Sabbath. This patch I got when I saw them last year in April. The show was so awesome. Seriously, if they do their final tour, I'm, I really hope I can go see them. And this one is a down patch. This Venom patch, Amigo Saber. In League of Satan, Live Like an Angel is the only one I have on the front right now. I used to have a creator patch on the front. Actually, we'll get it one second. Okay, so. I used to have this creator pleasure to kill patch on the front, but I figure it'll look better on my vest. So that's where it's going to go. And I'm either going to put another creator one in its place, or this Dark Throne one. And if I don't put this dark throne on the front, it'll probably go on the sleeve. So for the back of this jacket, Death, Scream, Bloody Gore is my back patch, because I absolutely love this album, so obviously I'll have to make it my back patch. So anyway, underneath it, I have Megadeth, Peace Cells, which was fine. And this is Children of Bodom's Reaper. So this is my first one, and this is the one that's pretty much done. There isn't really much for me to do to it other than put whatever patch on the front here. So, yeah. This is my second one, and the one that you'll be getting updates on. It's a vest. There isn't a lot on it right now. But, for buttons, Metallica, Toxic Holocaust. Lost Society, Skeleton Witch, the other side, Lost Society again, because I love that band, and a memorial button for my favorite guitarist ever, Dimebag Daryl, so it has a picture of him, then it says his name, and birth and death date, rest in peace, Electric Wizard, and Nuclear Assault, on the shoulders, I have a Megadeth one that's supposed to look like a license plate. To me, I feel like I could throw something on it because it's so shiny, or just blind someone with whichever I feel like at the time, I guess. I don't know. This side, Death Leprosy, so it has the guy from the album cover on it. On the front right now, I have Motorhead's Warpig, and then Overkill, White Devil Armory, so that's from the new album. And then, underneath there, Testament. And on the other side, Black Sabbath. So, I thought, I still have to put a back patch and everything on this one, which probably will go on soon. So I'll show you that to you guys. I also definitely need to get a Pantera patch for one of these jackets, because otherwise I, that will just not feel right. So that's those.
I will post more covers, more goofing around with my base, more battle jacket updates whenever I put more stuff on them, reviews, solos, violin stuff, that all that. So yeah, I'll see you then. Later.